Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 20th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to 420, 2024. Now, as we know, on April 16th, we had a large volcanic eruption at Mount Rung, northern Indonesia. Photos there of the amazing eruption also caught on satellite imagery here having a look at satellite imagery from Zoom Earth. As on October 16th, in the wee hours of the morning, overnight for this area, Mount Rung had a large eruption. Reaching the troposphere, so heights of 65,000 feet, the pyroclastic cloud exploding into the atmosphere. And it's caught here on satellite imagery, You'll see it as we go into nighttime. Right in the island region above Gorontolo and Manado, right there. Big mushroom cloud over the island, Mount Rung Volcano. Now tsunami watches and warnings were issued through the small island regions. And as well, now we're going to have a pretty nasty air quality to report for over the next few days. I did show imagery on the 16th, the day of the eruption. And this is the imagery right here. Boom. Now, it's kind of a smaller version of what Hunga Tonga did just two years back. And now we've seen the two largest volcanic eruptions we've seen in our lifetime happen in a matter of two years. If this is not good. This is releasing more sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide into our atmosphere than we have in our lifetime. Our planet's going through some great changes due to solar cycle 25. I've been documenting everything that's been occurring over the past five years and it's been steadily increasing. After I started doing research into all of this and talking about the possible mini ice age coming to our planet by 2030. This is showing the SO2 forecast the first day. And that quickly moved west. But this is now, as it has stretched pretty much across the equator, thousands of miles here. This eruption pretty much created a high pressure ridge dominant right over the Banda Sea in the Philippines. That's a lot of heat. I thought that is a lot of particles and a lot of SO2, nasty air quality. You think back to the late 80s when Mount St. Helens erupted, mainstream media was talking about acid rain. Don't stick your tongue out and don't taste the rain. Look at our planet now been documenting everything that's been happening over the past five years with this channel daily events worldwide and i really i want to thank you all for being a part of this amazing family and community sharing the research sharing the knowledge the awareness and preparedness we need to be ready by 2030 folks there's a reason why our government's developed agenda 2030 agenda 21 And they're all falling into line now. The 17 steps to sustainable development for mankind. Why by 2030? Well, because things are about to get hectic. And we ain't seen nothing yet. Over the next five years, we're going to see things massively accelerating. This is what Mount Rung looked like before the eruption. We'll try to get a more recent photo here. But massive 
eruption at Mount Rung, massive eruption at Honga Tonga. Two largest volcanic eruptions in our history. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. We'll see you for our next video.